This is the Atom Stack X70 Max laser engraving and cutting machine. A massive 70 watt COS blue light switchable diode laser to scale your business, create large projects, and it might just replace your CO2 machine. In this review, we'll be taking a look at the specs and features of the X70 Max and putting it to the test with a variety of materials and projects big and small. So, let's get started! Welcome back to Space Age Tech where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. We'll start with the unboxing. This laser engraver has an approximate work area of 33.5 inches by 31.5 and a footprint of 42 by 46 inches. The first thing we see here is our bottom component rail where we'll install our laser module. And under this rectangle compartment on the right, we have our 70 watt switchable laser module. And because we have a lot of power here, we can cut things like 25 millimeter black acrylic, 12 millimeter MDF, 30 millimeter pine board, and 0.3 millimeter stainless steel sheets in one pass. The switchable functionality allows you to turn down the power to 35 watts for fine engraving. The 70 watt laser module is the most powerful Atom Stack has to offer at the time of this video, and they estimate it to be comparable to a 180 watt CO2 machine. These are our safety glasses, and since we don't have an enclosure for our machine, we need to make sure we wear the safety glasses every time the machine is in operation. You may need additional pairs if you have multiple people working on your shop as well. Next, we have our upper support bar component. This machine features a low center of gravity dual axis guide rail structure for stable operation at high speed. This is especially important given the size of the machine. We also have our Y axis left and right side rail components. And lastly, we have our lower support bar component. As you can see, this is where we have our controller. So you'll find your on and off switch, your connectors, and this is where we'll mount our display. Setup is pretty straightforward. It takes a little bit over an hour to complete for an experienced person. And it's mainly putting together the frame and fixing the laser. This is a complete setup. We also have our power adapter, our air assist, and our magnetic display here. The display allows you to control the unit offline. You can load your G-code from Lightburn, for example, into a USB instead of having it connected to your computer. We're almost ready to start. For this review, Adam Stack has generously provided some testing materials available on their website. This include wood, two colored acrylic, scratch paper, and jewelry. And there are certain advantages of buying materials directly from Atom Stack. You can be sure their materials are laser ready and can be used with their machines. You can also expect consistent results in every batch. One of the challenges we have faced with other vendors is getting consistent quality. This oftentimes can result in wasted time and material. So if you're curious to try the Atom Stack materials, stick around for the results. We'll place a link in the description below. But we'll also be testing additional materials. Let's start by doing an engraving material test on the Atom Stack two color acrylic. This two color acrylic comes in 12 by eight inch sheets. They offer a lot of interesting colors, including some metal contrasting colors, which would be great for signage. You'll be able to see our engraving results in the next section. We ran a couple of engraving tests on each of the colors that we received. We wanted to make sure that we can get to where we have a sharp contrast between the base color and the under color. This is the metal panel series. It's a 12 by eight inch sheet 
and it's the brush silver panel that engraves on black. So we have a lot of space to work with in terms of the settings we can use for this material. We'll choose our favorite one and save it to a light burn library so we can keep using it later. And here you can see the results for all the two color acrylics that we received. The top are our metallic sheets and the bottom are our regular colors. We have lots of options to choose from and we'll be making a game board on our next test. We decided to make a Scrabble board where each letter value is represented by a color. The wood we use for the board itself is also available on the Atom Stack website. It's a three millimeter thick 12 by 12 plywood sheet. They also have red oak, walnut, basswood, and some others. What we're trying to test for here is the precision of the machine. Even though it's big and powerful with its 70 watt laser, it's not meant to only do brute tasks. The X70 Max has a 0 0.01 millimeter precision with top speed at 400 millimeters per second. This means that you can engrave fast and accurately. And it shows. We are very pleased on how this game board turned out. Next, we'll take a look at the luminous scratch paper. These come in packs of 50 A4 size. This is similar to the acrylic where we have two layers of color. We are running an engraving test here and we want to figure out what's the sweet spot where we can get a clean contrast between the black top coat and the color layer. The one we have here has a blue layer, but there's other colors available as well. Here we have our results. It looks like this requires lower power to get a clean engraving. We'll try engraving an image of a palm tree. Aside from being super satisfying to watch, it looks pretty good especially the gradient colors that get darker towards the edge, giving it a vignette effect. We had not tried scratch paper before, but it looks like you can get some pretty cool effects. There could be a little bit more fine tuning to get the blue to show up a little bit more, but it looks pretty cool. Let us know what you think. In this next section, we're gonna take advantage of the huge work area we have to work with. For our next test, we'll try an 18 inch by 18 inch painted canvas. This one we got from our local arts and crafts store. We don't have a lot of room to test, so we'll try the back of the canvas to see if we can figure out some good settings for this material. And although this is pretty big, it's not the largest we can engrave. We have a work area of approximately 33.5 inches by 31.5 inches. And this is definitely the largest diode laser engraver we have tested so far. Typically, we are seeing laser engravers between 15 and 18 inches squared in the engraving area or 400 to 450 millimeters. This one is double the size and double the fun. Here are our engraving results. Let's see how it turns out in action. And we're gonna be making our own art here this is a picture of the moon. We'll be engraving a picture of the moon, which should give us a pretty nice contrast between the black canvas and the white underlayer. And take a look at the results. We were able to capture the subtle intricacies of the moon. For our next test, we'll use an even bigger canvas. This is a 30 by 30 canvas. Again, this is from our local art supply store. The only difference is that we painted this canvas before engraving. We'll continue with our space age theme. Can you guess what we are engraving? This is Buzz Aldrin saluting the American flag at the Tranquility Base on the Moon from July 20th, 1969. We absolutely love, love, love all the details we were able to capture. And it's no surprise, the X70 Max has a mechanical accuracy of 0 0.02 millimeters, which allows it to engrave the most delicate details. We are thoroughly pleased on how this turned out. Next, we tried polyethylene foam, but our results were not as successful. 
We couldn't get clean enough results for this project regardless of how many tests we attempted. You can notice how it melts around the edges of the cuts and the engraving doesn't look perfect either. So perhaps not a good candidate for this diode laser. We'll move on to our next test. This is a one inch thick EVA foam mat. And as you can see, the cut test results are quite pristine. We don't see any melting on the edges, so very promising so far. What we wanna do here is ultimately create a liner for a large toolbox that we recently got. We want to organize our tools, so we'll also be running a cutting test. This EVA foam was purchased through Amazon and it's actually a yoga mat. And because the X70 Max is so large, we'll be able to tackle this whole project at once instead of having to break it down into smaller pieces. We also tried an engraving test. Since this is quite a thick material, we want to find the settings that can engrave clearly, but not cut through all the way. And as we do this, you'll notice there's quite a bit of smoke coming out from the EVA foam. Something to consider for this machine is building out an enclosure. Then you can take an exhaust fan to take the smoke outside. This would definitely make it more comfortable to work around the machine and protect everybody's eyes from looking directly at the laser. And we have a lot of room to work with here. Notice how at lower speed and higher power, we almost get this see-through effect. Pretty cool, not what we need here, but you can keep that in mind. And with that, we're ready to start on our project. Here we're framing our project. The X70 Max comes equipped with a cross positioning system. This is the red cross you are seeing as we frame our job. It allows you to see the exact engraving area perimeter and align your material accordingly when you frame it. Another important feature is the autofocus. This helps to automatically determine the appropriate distance between the engraving object and the laser. If you have done this manually before, it can be quite tedious and not always as accurate. And you can see here that the X70 Max is cutting through this EVA foam like butter. We did two passes to make sure that it gets cut all the way through. Before we proceed cutting the mat, we'll just check that our tools fit in snugly. And it looks like we have a perfect fit. We'll go ahead with the rest of the cuts. This is our completed liner, and if you have a little OCD like us, you'll appreciate having everything in its designated place. Most importantly, figuring out what we are missing so we can have time to hunt down whoever didn't put their tools back. This is exactly what we wanted and we are very happy with the results. And we definitely have more work to go, but for now we know that the X70 Max will be there to help us. And now that we've tested big, bigger, and huge, we can go back to more intricate designs. We designed these two jewelry boxes using the Atom Stack 12x12 plywood sheets. These are 3mm thick. For this box, we cut and engraved a butterfly design, and here you can see we're using it to store a bracelet, also from the Atom Stack website, with some initials engraved. The dark one was stained, and we also cut a foam liner insert to make it into a jewelry box. We have two more engravable bracelets that can also be found in the Atom Stack store. These are most of our designs, big and small, intricate and simple, that the X70 Max was able to handle with no problems. Now let's talk about why you would want this machine. If you want to scale your business, you can batch out many, many pieces in one go. And the X70 Max has an average lifespan of 20,000 hours of use. Since we have an exceptionally large area of over 30 inches, we can make big stuff. And this is a much more affordable alternative to a CO2 machine and also requires less maintenance. Although it can't cut clear acrylic or engraved glass without some type of coating, 
the 70 watt diode laser can cut through 25 millimeter black acrylic, 12 millimeter MDF, 30 millimeter pine board, and 0.3 millimeter stainless steel sheet. So, are you ready to get yours? Check out the links in the description for more info. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.